Yes, hi. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. All right, good. Thanks for coming. Yes, absolutely. So this is a cohort. This is Pamela Hunter Jones. So say hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Oh, one minute. Yes, yes. Okay, just. You got personal business. The L. The L stands for L. I demand that it doesn't stand for love. I've been lying for all these years. The L goes. This is where our son is, Margaret, Troy, and Lawrence, in front of this store, to use some liquor. So it's for loop, right? That's Yeah, but isn't that what L stands for? Like, the loop? I just don't like the The subway came in much later than the... Elevated. <laughs> you thought it was like, like 10 minutes. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so hard. I know. <laughs> then I like, took out my phone. That's why I do for the weird. I don't know. Like, that's it. I think it maybe goes a little bit closer for the trip. friends and uh, they came past this way and it was a group of men in a white van that actually came out a white van similar to that one over there with no windows and it was a rack on top and I guess the guys in the car from my understanding from the police report they were gang gang members um, there's three sets of gangs in this area which I never knew we did live here in this area in Abney Park this is Abney Park area we lived right on Lawrence I mean um, Foster and Lincoln and so if you walk through here, through Swedish Government Hospital, then you'll get over here on this side of uh, Abney Park. So there's Cobras, uh, Maledin Kings, and uh, Flamente Stones. And um, Lazarus was with his friends. It was no school that day. It was Lincoln's birthday. And uh, the weather was good, and you know, it was winter, but the ice was melting. It felt like one of those Indian um, winters, as people say. Um, and my son and his friends was walking. The guys jumped out the van on uh, Lazarus and his friends. And one of the guys in the van, I guess they said, oh, um, they're not in the game. Leave him alone. He's, 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 he's nobody like that. And then the other guy said, um, I don't swear, but I'm going to just say it because you guys are adults to see how vicious and evil it is. They said, no, we're going to fuck him up. And, um, and so my, my son, friends, they ran, and Lazarus began to run, and when he began to run, to run, he actually slipped on ice here. And the guys jumped out the van, and they had a, uh, the, the store owner here, which is still the owner, he put in the, in the papers as, as they did the report with him, that um, it looks it looked like a hammer object that went to as we did. And um, they beat him to death here um, with a, a looking like a hammer, a hammer, a hammer in his hand that the guys had and they kicked and beat him. Um, and they left him right here. And he died on the city streets. And, one of his friends, they ran around and they came back to the store and they told him to call the police. As you can see here in this area, there's the supermarket was, was here open, the CTA bus was running, it was a busy intersection, this is like around here, and this diner here was open. So this is a very busy intersection. There was a young lady that lived here, I don't know if she still lives here, but she saw what happened and she actually wrote a song about Lazarus. If you could go on Lazarus on YouTube, you'll find it. And she's singing about it. Um, so people was here. People saw what happened, and no one says anything. And silent kills. And in today's society, of how many 
young people are dying on our city streets with gun violence, all kinds of violence. Evil comes in all types of ways, and no one says nothing again. There's our, there are plenty of cases like mine that are cold case because if you guys didn't know, February 19th of this month will be 10 years and no justice for my son, Lazarus. Um, but I know there's justice in heaven, but there's no justice on earth here. And our children are continually being beaten to death, um, gunned down all around Chicago land and around the world today. And people want to keep silent and silent kills. And I do believe that if someone would have stopped the beating that my son took here, if someone just would have came out and stood up to the gangs, that my son would probably still be here today. And if someone would just speak about it and say exactly what they saw, what has happened, then maybe we will have justice in the courts. And the murderers are still walking the streets. And there was more than one person. It was not just one. It was a group of men jumped out the car. That year of February, June was coming. Lazarus is going to graduate from Bud Long Elementary School. We lived right down the street. He only had to walk two small blocks to school. And he was going to graduate in eighth grade. We just did his high school uh, scoring for his test, test results. I had to get all of them back in the mail. He was gone already. And, you know, I just want to say that um, for 10 years fighting for justice, will I ever stop? No, I won't. Because if I do, I feel something in here will, will leave. Do I want the people punished that did this? Yes. Do I believe in a death penalty? No, I don't. Die should not kill. I don't believe in a death penalty. But they should pay for what they did. Because who's to say this area here, yes, it's an upcoming area, but there are <laughs> gangs that come out at night. And they do. And they do. And they hurt people, you know. And innocent, innocent people. And it's sad. And Lazarus looking forward for graduation. So they still put his picture in the graduation book of 2007. So I was grateful to have that. Um, so I do have to come back out here. Um, I may come back out here on the, on the 19th, very short and brief. But I wanted to hold a press conference in the office that I have for my son and do it inside the office and talk to <coughs> the world and talk to the newscast and let them know how I feel as a parent and I feel that our Justice Department has failed us because we don't have justice you know a lot of us and I'm not just talking about my son but there's many moms that I come in contact with I have some of their children's name on my office on the walls because they don't have justice too so if you guys see violence say something not saying to jump in it and hurt yourself but call the police. Like, it shouldn't have to take Lazarus Fred to run all the way around the corner and come back and tell someone to call, call the cops. It shouldn't have took that. When you're in a community with so many people, it should have had happened sooner. But it didn't. So now we must move on. And I must continue to shine the light of love that God has given me unto others and tell them and teach them that violence comes in all types of ways and sources. And crime does too. And we, we just have to really understand that evil exists, it's real, hell exists, it's real, and we can't keep silent about it because when we do that, we're not saving an individual life, whether it's a child or an adult. And it could be your family member, you know, that you're saving, that's out here walking the streets. There's a verse in the Bible that I don't know the verse by heart, but I know it talks about being out at night because there's evil that walks the streets but more too at night time. Um, I'm leaving you guys some cards. I don't have enough for everyone, but um, your teacher will give it to you. You can visit my website. There's a comment. Um, there's lots of videos. You can leave a comment and see the things that I've been doing for the last 10 years for Lazarus on my um, website. Um, trying to see if there's more things I can share with you guys. Oh, his story, um, if you go to Case Files, Chicago, they did his story, they interviewed um, some of my family members and myself, and it was on the news, um, Case Files, Chicago, Lazarus story. Um, and I'm also on Facebook for my campaign page, Lazarus Jones, St. Patrick campaign, and Pamela Greek, Greek on Twitter, and on Facebook.
Facebook as well. So just spread the word and justice for Lazarus, justice for all youth, justice for the whole world. Thank you. And I'll take any questions that you guys have to answer. If you have any questions, tag. Feel free to answer. Tags. Did you guys ever find out like what the game is? Uh, so far, um, I believe Fl Flamente Stones, I indication that was from the detectives that someone came in and said, yes, they're still looking. Um, it's a cold case, but have I heard from the detectives the honest truth? No, I have not. Not on Lazarus' case. Every time I get a call, you know, it, it puts me in a, you know, stage of frame where, oh, is it going to be this day that I have justice? No questions by wrong to ask. Thank you so much, Pamela. I really appreciate it. Any final questions at all? So, um, what we wanted to do is we really just wanted to honor Lazarus' memory and also uh, Pamela's work. She's an incredible voice in our city um, that's doing so much work that, that literally is saving lives in our city. Um, you may not know this, but in the city of Chicago, just this past year, 2017, I, I read a statistic somewhere around only 30% of homicides are actually solved in our city. And what Pamela mentioned is, is absolutely, it's, it's just tragic. And, and it's for lack of resources, I think, we have to admit that a lot of this is racial and the racial biases that exist in our society and, and who is not served and who's honored and, and, and that's what's happened. So um, so if you're the praying sort, um, if you could just lift um, Pamela um, up in prayer and um, if you're not the praying sort, if we could just have a moment of silence just to honor Lazarus', Lazarus memory and we'll just bow our heads and just have a moment of silence and we'll finish. Thank you.